Look at somebody and say, I am unstoppable. Whatever you thought you lost, whatever is taken from you, God will compensate you. All things work together for good to those who are called according to his what? Purpose. All things. May your life attract people that have something to do with your destiny. I began sharing with you on Sunday. Um, the yokes of the wicked one. Now we took our scriptures from Isaiah chapter 10 from verse 27 where he said it shall come to pass in that day that his, his body shall be taken away from off thy shoulder and his yoke from off thy neck and the yoke shall be destroyed because of what? The anointing. We're continuing the journey in the anointing. It talks about the anointing to make you outstanding in your generation. We're dealing with the anointing that destroys yokes. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm, I must tell you the truth. Some of us are under on one yoke or the other. I have about 21 of the yokes here. I'm going to take my time to explain some of them. It is one thing to know, but another thing when you have understanding of what you know you'll be able to know how to approach it. We looked at the yoke of unfruitfulness on Sunday. I'm looking at a different yoke tonight. There are two yokes that I'm going to combine together. And that is the yoke of poverty and the yoke of indebtedness. The yoke of poverty and the yoke of indebtedness. These two yokes, they walk hand in hand. They go together. The yoke of poverty and the yoke of indebtedness. When these two yokes are operating together, the yoke of indebtedness leads you to borrow. That's what it does. It leads you to borrow. There is no one you will open your mouth to ask for that will not lend you. You borrow, but you can't pay. It leads you to buy things on credit. You buy to pay small, small. You buy to pay little by little. Then you see another one you buy. I remember when I was working uh, as a civil servant. That was the kind of life I met in the civil, civil service. People just buy. Buy this. Buy shoe. Women buy clothes. Buy bag. They will pay small. The next salary they will pay. The other salary they will pay. What you do not know is this. You have eaten your tomorrow. Because you are perpetually indebted. And we had... I was working in the museum. So we had a restaurant in the museum. So staff will go there. They will eat and sign their name. And accountant will be contacted that on the day of salary, you don't wait for them to pay you because they will not pay you. So it's, it's deducted from the source. 
Are you here? It is an influence on someone. You know, the, the, you know, poverty is there is this part of poverty that is sometimes difficult to overcome. That is the mentality. Poverty mentality. Sometimes very, very hard to overcome because it is a mindset. The mind is set that you can't do without operating in that way. Now, when you have eaten your salary ahead of time, when the salary comes, so what happens to this, those staff was as soon as the day of salary, they know they have no salary. Because when you are not paying on the spot, you can afford to say, Madam Abeg, put, me, put four meat. You know why? You are not paying, you are not paying at once. You're not paying cash. Say, what is man no dying, man no rotting. So, you will put for meat. You will come tomorrow. And the woman cook bush meat. Say, madam, I need bush meat. What you do not know is that you are signing your death warrant. Then on the day of salary, they deduct from you. And they give you empty sleep. So, you, you start from that day again. To start eating on credit. It's a yoke. And what this yoke does is that you are going to be a poor man. You are going to be a poor woman. The yoke makes you to borrow from Mr. A and pay Mr. B. Then borrow from Mr. C to pay, to pay D. Then you borrow to the point that you are now owing many people. So in a large congregation, such people now come to church very late. Or they sit at the back. As soon as you say, may the grace of our Lord, they have already left. They have already, they, you can't hold them back because you don't know. What people do not know is that there is an influence on you. When the yoke is on you, even when you have money, you will still buy on credit. I, I don't know if I'm explaining something tonight. You still see people buying on credit. They have money to pay. But because they are under the yoke. Don't forget what I described the yoke. The yoke propels you, directs you, pushes you towards a direction that you don't want to go. That is what the yoke does. That is this, the, what the yoke does. If, 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 if I, I don't think they have the, this in here. They should have put it again for us. It makes you live a life you don't want to live. When this yoke is on you, you will owe landlord. You will owe school fees. You will owe NEPA. You will owe and owe and owe. The woman that supply you Gary, you will owe. The one that you buy rice from, you will owe. You will owe to the point that you can't sleep at night. At that level, Mr. Poverty has taken his place. I'm not saying something that is not real. I'm just saying something that is very, very common. Even among believers. Because we are human beings living in the same society, mingling with the same people. And you see somebody growing dry. He's just drying up. It's not because he's, he's not eating. He's eating. But he can't sleep at night. Turn with me to this scripture. I'd like to read some scripture. Proverbs chapter 21, verse 17. Proverbs 21, Verse 17. He that loveth what? Pleasure. Shall be what? Are you here? He that loveth what? Pleasure. Shall be a poor man. He that loveth wine and oil. Shall not be rich. He that loveth pleasure. 
Are you aware that another one pattern, one poverty mentality, I have found out. When people have a poverty mentality, they dress to impress. <laughs> Are you here? They do what? They dress to impress. They buy what is above them. Just to prove a point. And when you buy things to prove a point, you buy a telephone. Who uses the phone? Who even recognizes you because you hold a phone? Which door opens for you because you hold a phone? But do you know why people buy the phone? They buy the letters. Pleasure. Please leave the scripture there. Somebody say pleasure. He that loveth pleasure. He that loveth pleasure shall be a poor man. Water finds its level. If you pour water here now, pour water here, watch the water. If this side is not, if this side is high, the water is not going there. The water will find the place that is low and flow along that. And that is what life is. Find your level. Find your level. If you cannot afford television in your house, relax. If you have phone, you can watch the one in your phone. Because Papa Kachuku went to buy television and bought the latest one. You too want to prove to Papa Kachuku when you know that that is not your level. Then you borrow money from your meeting. You know why many of us, we are just quiet? Because something is wrong. Something is what? Wrong. You borrow money from the meeting. Now, this is the meeting you were contributing so that by the end of the year, you will have something to hold. But you have gone to borrow, to go and buy television. Why? You love pleasure. He that loveth pleasure will be a poor man. She that loveth pleasure of buying every ashwepi that comes out shall be a poor woman. Are, are you here? Shall be a poor woman. You know what? What is wrong with you? There is a yoke of poverty. Because when you buy those clothes, even if you want to sell them back, there is nothing you are getting out of them. You have won them. What people do not know, see, I'm talking about a spiritual problem. You don't see it as a spiritual problem, but it's a spiritual problem and it brings you to a place of poverty. In your office, you have borrowed. In the compound, you have borrowed. Even in your village, you have borrowed. The one you borrowed in the village, the ancestral spirit is following you. Ah. Proverbs chapter 22 verse 7. Proverbs chapter 22 verse 7. The rich ruleth over the poor. And the borrower is servant to the lender. The borrower is servant to who? To the lender. The, the borrower is servant to the lender. See, don't get me wrong. If you borrow money to do business... That means you took someone's money to create wealth.